Hi guys, so this is my first video, so I thought that a good first video would be get ready with me and get to know me a bit more because I'm assuming that most people here from my TikTok, um, so you don't really get to know me from my TikTok much because my videos are mainly about BTS and other things like K-dramas and stuff, so let's go. I've already washed my face with the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser and I've put on SPF 50 from Ultraviolet. Uh, I use these products every day, I don't really do much in terms of skincare in the morning because I did used to have very bad skin and I went through using Accutane so I've decided to keep my routine very simple since then. I'm going to put my fringe by my ears. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to use will be the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua Foundation. I've used this for like two years now. Um, it's great. And it just looks nice on the skin. I'm just going to put this on with my fingers. So in terms of getting to know me, um, if you don't know my name's Holly, I'm 15, I'm going to be 16 in December and I have been making videos on TikTok for about a year and a bit now. So I thought of making a channel now because might as well. As you all probably know, I am a big fan of BTS, as you can probably see them behind me. Um, my bias is Jimin. Um, but I think a lot of you will know that. <laughs> I'm also going to use the Chanel thing as like a concealer because I don't own a concealer. So I kind of just tap it there. Okay. So now I'm going to use a powder. I'm going to use the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder, the pressed version, because if I had a loose version, I'd make a mess. Um, I'm just going to put that under my eyes because I don't want the lines. As you can tell, I don't really think much when I do my makeup. I just do it very quickly. Even when I was younger, I used to love watching makeup videos. Like, do you remember Promise and Michelle Phan? I used to watch them all the time. I loved them. Um, and I, they would do obviously like really extravagant makeup looks. And I used to love that, but now I don't do that. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer and Shady Biz. I love this, as you can probably tell. I'm just gonna dust this around the side of my face. I've currently got two weeks left of school. I'm in year 10. In America, as I know I've got some people from America, I think that's grade nine, but I'm gonna be going into grade 10 or year 11 in September when I'll do my GCSEs. So I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, so I'm done with my bronzer and I'm gonna use blush now. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Pinkgasm. I try not to go too over the top of this because it's very easy to do that. Like a lot comes out, but you know, we make it work. I just do two dots and then I blend it like inwards first and then outwards. And there we go. Lovely. I get a lot of people asking on my TikTok how I do my makeup. I really don't do it extravagantly. So to all of you watching this thinking it's very boring, it is because I don't, I don't do much. <laughs> I'm going to do a highlighter now. I'm going to use Elevated Glow in the shade Crystal Nebula from Lisa Eldridge's makeup line. My mum has always been a big fan of Lisa Eldridge ever since she started her YouTube stuff. So when she bought out a makeup line, we were very excited and we all got stuff from it and we've been buying everything that she's bought out really since. I do have her foundation, but I choose to wear the Chanel one sometimes just because it's a bit more lightweight. And there we go. Now my face is done. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. I'm gonna use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I don't really pluck or do anything with my brows. They're pretty naturally dark and big. So my mom always used to tell me don't, don't ever pluck your brows, don't ever pluck them. So I don't. And I kind of just brush all the hairs up and then at the top I go round to make the shape. So as I mentioned before, my content on TikTok is very much um, K-drama and K-pop based. So I thought I'd tell you my favourite K-drama is, well I've got two top ones. It's Crash Landing on You and Vincenzo. So good. Oh I love them so much. Although my number one K-drama crush is Park So Joon. Now onto my eye makeup. I get people asking the most how I do this and it's very simple, um, I really don't do much at all. I used to love doing eyeshadow and I've got about 100 makeup palettes in this drawer of which I don't really use any of them anymore. Sometimes, but not always. So instead I just like to do some glitter under my eyes because I've got pretty, pretty small eyes I'd say and I think the glitter helps make them look brighter and bigger. I'm using the Peri Para Sugar Twinkle in the shade Glitter Wave. It's like the lightest one they have, I think. They also have, I really want to get like the gold one, or the pink one, because I think they look nice. Then I just use it like under my eye, really, which I'm just gonna look in the mirror to do this so I don't mess up. Today's actually the day of the like, how you pop fest in London. And oh my gosh, I wanted to go so bad to see P1 Harmony. And I got like the email for the 50% off tickets, but 
it was still too expensive for travel and stuff. It's all right. I've done my eyes now and I think they look pretty nice. I mean, this is what I do every time. And I've now got just my mascara to do. This is another thing I feel really sorry about because people comment on my TikTok what I do with my eyelashes and a lot of the time I don't actually have anything on my eyelashes at all. I just have quite naturally long and curled eyelashes. I think I maybe was given the boy eyelash gene because it seems like boys always have nice eyelashes and I think I got that one. <laughs> but I'm just gonna use the, oh it's very beaten up, the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara. I probably need a new one of this. It's very dirty, but it's fine. And I just put it on my eyelashes, like so. Now I'm going to use the lip tint on my lips. I always use lip tints because they're what I own <laughs> and I don't have to really reapply them as much as I would if it was a lipstick or lip gloss. I'm using the Roman Juicy Lasting Tint in the shade 23, Nucadamia. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. They just feel so smooth on the lips, I love them. And they smell really good. I actually don't know what it smells like, but it smells like something from my childhood, like holidays. I cannot put my finger on it though. And now, my makeup is done. Yeah, so now I've got to do my hair, of which I think I'm just gonna do half up and half down today because, fun fact, I went to see Michael Bublé last night and I had my hair in two kind of buns on the side, so my hair's kind of a mess right now. I'm gonna put it in half up, half down. Because I've got very thick hair as well. I used to have blonde curly hair as a child, believe it or not, but now I've got super, super thick brown hair. Gosh, my ponytail's got probably a bit sticking out like that. Finish off by using a perfume. This is the Maison Margiela replica perfume in Under the Lemon Trees. I originally saw this in a TikTok about what perfumes the Euphoria characters would wear. And I saw the name Under the Lemon Trees and I was like, wow, that sounds nice. So I went and smelt it and I liked it. So I got it. <laughs> a very interesting story to that one, I know. And I'm just gonna put this on my neck and arms. Arms, wrists. And it smells nice, it's a nice citrusy scent. I'm not a big fan of floral scents because I don't want to smell like a granny when I'm 15. I'm done now, this is my makeup. Really not that hard, not that difficult because I don't have time, I don't really wear makeup. I, well, I mean, I don't, I don't wear makeup at school because I cannot be bothered to wake up early in the morning because I just would rather have an extra 15 minutes in bed. But I do my makeup at the weekends, but I'm done. Thank you all for watching this video. It probably wasn't the most exciting, but I will do vlogs at some point when I'm actually doing more interesting things with my life, probably when summer happens. So two more weeks of school and then I'll be able to make better videos. Okay, bye.